day student um i've tried to solve this kinematic uh problem uh using a velocity diagrams here we've got a kinematic uh, problem which says the crankshaft is rotating at the angular speed of 120 rpm in a clockwise direction that means the one that is rotating is uh, crankshaft is from o to b with the clockwise direction and then at the end of b of this crankshaft we've got a, a crank b a which it, it has a, a length of 240 and then we've got a point c which is lies uh, between a a and b and then again we've got a, a piston at the end of uh, that crank of 240 um or some they call it a slider but then we are asked we have to calculate uh the, the linear velocity uh of of op uh, a b and c c p then uh here is a question and then on the uh another one we've got uh what you call um a configuration diagram what is a configuration diagram a configuration diagram is just you need to redraw what you see you just have to redraw what you see and then we've got the scale here on my point one which is just to reduce a configuration diagram um here when i use my scale to reduce a, a, um, a scale op op is, is is given as 15 millimeters and then ab a b is 60 millimeters b c is 15 millimeters and then um on the now i've got the configuration diagram and then uh for the next point is just to name to name the velocities at the end of uh, of of the rod or piston just check on we've got a vba vbo and then at the end of my uh my crank we've got vbo we name perpendicular uh to the rod vbo we've got vbo perpendicular to the to the rod and then we've got vba perpendicular to uh, the rod ba and then we've got uh, VA, vao which is slight always slide to the fixed point that's my naming on the on the on the on the uh the velocities and then again uh, i can't name a point c because a point c is just a a mark or a point lies to the, at the at the point uh, at the road between b and a and then now to redraw a velocity diagram this is what i have done here check my points that i've produced velocity at point number one velocity op velocity o b calculated using a formula remember i've got uh, uh angular velocity then i have to use a v o b is equals to angular uh, velocity multiplied by perpendicular distance then i've got 2 pi multiplied by 2 240 divided by 60 and then multiply by uh, perpendicular distance and then again i've got 2.64 meters per second and then you will see uh, i have to assume my velocity scale now I'm, I'm no longer using a configuration diagram i have to assume my velocity scale then now to if ever i've got my velocity scale i can produce a straight line check on the point number three produce a straight line from a configuration and produce a point o and b if ever you produce a point from the configuration you produce a straight line straight line until to the to until you, you 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 come to the down point and then now you produce point o and b because now you can now produce you can now go to a point and calculate a velocity we've got 2.64 and then now you can plug into a velocity scale and produce this line uh, o b if ever you've got a line o b and then it's produced straight from the configuration diagram and then again we've got uh we've got uh, 
point velocity a o as we said is always slide to the fixed point and then you go to from the velocity diagram we just produce an infinite line passing to o it has to pass o uh, we don't know where it cuts it cuts o and then again we produce a v a p where it passes point p then you will see uh, your point your point uh, b velocity a b and then o a o it, it will make a point o at some point and then now you will so you will see good you can uh, measure measure your velocity from a o and then is 34 point millimeters and then a p is 47 millimeters and then again they said we must find a uh, point c to find point c you need a ratio of velocity diagram and the uh, configuration diagram we know if ever i equate a configuration diagram with a, a velocity diagram i know a, a, a a length of AP at the configuration diagram which is given as 60 and then I've, I know a point of BC which is given as 15 millimeters and then again I equate it with a, a velocity diagram I know point AP point AP if ever you measured is, is given as 47 millimeters I know 47 millimeters but then I don't know BC on the velocity diagram then I have to equate it and then I calculate it which is giving me 11.775 millimeters then now I can measure point C from B point then I can uh, make obviously they are going back to the to the fixed point which is O that's that's how you do a, your velocity diagram on uh, on uh, using a, di a, a diagram Thank you, students.